Win as one. EA Sports, FIFA 21. Sponsors Saturday Social. And we've got Jack on the show, so it's only fair we do a deep dive into West Ham United season, which is going from strength to strength, fourth in the table. I want to get this in very clearly because Smithy's back, beating Tottenham Hotspur <laughs> most recently, uh, and even Declan Rice taking to Twitter with a few celebration memes. Lovely to see this. 138,000 likes. Him on the drums. Jesse on. Is that the clarinet? He's, he's on for now. Oh, 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 right. You made your point. Bringing up the <laughs> rear there. Um, you know, these guys have just been unbelievable. Jesse Lingard as well, coming into the club. It's just so good to see Jesse come into the club. And I know you've had a little exchange with him on Twitter as well, Jack, haven't you? About That's potentially great. a tattoo. Do you want to talk us through these tweets and explain them a bit, little bit? Yeah, so I said that I would get the Jay Ling's logo tattooed if uh, Jesse signs on a permanent or has another seven goals uh, this season, for which uh, he, he he liked the tweet. And then he went and scored the winning goal against Tottenham. I don't know if you remember. It, <laughs> and then he came back oh. and, uh, and, he, and he tweeted he tweeted one down. So he, he clearly remembers it. The contract is clearly signed. And, uh, you know, I'm off to Tenerife. I imagine that's where you get that done, somewhere like Tenerife or something. <laughs> Tenerife, oh dear. Uh, right, so uh, it is worth putting a bit of perspective on this and show why West Ham fans, it's not just Jack, to be fair, a lot of West Ham fans are getting very excited. This is why, Jack, because you are fourth in the league, four points uh, behind, four points behind second, actually, because obviously United and Leicester both on 49 points. Um, so I want to ask you, Jack, where's the turnaround come? Because Joe, our, our very own Joe Tomlinson, very um, famously tweeted that West Ham won't get any points from their first yeah, seven context. games. He was, he was very critical about West Ham at the start. Um, and obviously, he didn't start particularly great, but you've been brilliant recently. So what, what do you put that turnaround down to, Jack? Um, well, firstly, Joe, I just want to say that tweet, that's, uh, that's been my uh, wallpaper for about three months now. So, so cheers to that on the phone. Um, Spiffy, to be honest, I have no idea. And I don't think West Ham fans truly have any idea. Because as I say, we were very anti Moyes when he came back. It felt like getting back a, an ex-partner that didn't quite work out. It was it was a weird decision. But it, it, he's proven once again what a fantastic manager he is when when you give him a little bit of time. And now I uh, I, I hope we do we do honour uh, that and give him some, some more years on that contract. I mean, we've found two hidden gems from the Czech League in Soufal. And yeah. Suchek, absolute yeah. legends then. So, and, and it just seems like one of these mad seasons where everything seems to be coming together. That sounds like a cliche, but like with Lingard, I, I, no one really knew if he was going to hit the ground running. A yeah. lot of Man U fans swear by him and say he's incredible, but he has, like, who who would expect the, the start that he's he's made? I'm not sure even he would have expected it to be that great. But um, yeah, mate, I, I don't know why, but I will take it every single day of the week. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's an interesting one there. You mentioned, obviously, Moisey as as well, because when he first came in, there was a bit of hesitation about him, wasn't there, I remember? And obviously, he's brought in a few players that maybe West Ham fans on paper didn't immediately love, the likes of potentially like Craig Dawson. But it, everything's just worked. <laughs> like, even, even bringing players like Craig Dawson in has worked. A hundred percent, mate. Hundred percent, and uh, like, like when he came, like I was sharing a picture of him wearing the Joker makeup. Like I can admit that now. Like I was, I was like, this, this is not going to work. Like it's not going to be good. And and yeah, Craig Dawson. He's just like, how is, how is that? Uh, how, how is that? Happened? Like what? Is, he's like, he's like forty eight. Came from the championship and just absolutely bossing it. I love that man. I'm going to name my first son Craig. You said it now. Okay, said there that. we go. It's huge there mistake. You've said it. On yeah. there. I mean, he said it. Jailing's J- tattoo Jack. and Jailing's tattoo and uh, a son called Craig. There you go. You put it out there. <laughs> uh, I will say. There you go. And talk- <laughs> Uh, just quickly on David Moyes, obviously he was in charge of the worst ever Premier League title defence. So I'm just glad that he's managing to do something positive when he was manager of Manchester United, going back to the conversation before. Uh, so just to uh, say about this, they've won seven of their nine Premier League games in 2021. Yes, they're coming up against Manchester City. I love them, but they held us to a draw last time as well. So it's not going to be easy for City this weekend. I will admit that. Mm, yeah, yeah, fair point. I like the fact you're still getting back the Man United point in there, Carl. Whatever he's on, he always likes no need, a little dig at Man United. Every single time. Um, Jack, I want to 
quickly focus on a few players because someone for me that went massively under the radar at the start, but now is getting the praise that I think he deserves. Thomas Suchek, talk to me about him. Um, I think he's got eight goals this season, so he always seems to be getting a lot of man of the match awards as well. Is is he someone else that that you're you're a big fan of? Could we be seeing a Thomas Suchek tattoo alongside the J-Ling's tattoo? I, I I love him, mate. I might go one step further. I've got my nan's portrait there, my granddad's portrait there. I might just get Thomas Suchek just there or something. like. <laughs> and it's, it's weird because he looks like a Bond villain. He looks so big and like... like in your face, <laughs> I know what you but, mean. But, but he's got the demeanour of like some cute little like, yeah, just like potato salads. Like, he's just like that kind of... He's just... <laughs> he's a weird bloke and I and I, I love him and I never ever give him a lifetime contract please yeah it, it yeah. reminds me a bit of Hoybier for Spurs someone that does a lot of the, the work that goes unnoticed but is starting to get the praise but very quickly I want to get your predictions of where you'll think you'll finish I'm going to come to Kyle first where will West Ham finish this season Kyle oh uh, six that's what I'm going to say six Jack where are you saying I'll take six but I'm going to go fifth <laughs> 